All right. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hopefully, we'll see some people joining soon. Who's here? There's six people here already. You're going to come over and say hello, kids? Hi to internet cubs. Thomas, you need to go get your scarf. I'm just staying here. Okay. Hi, bye. Hang on a sec, everyone. We're just getting set up. So just wait one minute. Right, okay, is everything working? I think it all is. You can chat and say hello if you want. Um, Abby is going to come over and join us to... Hello, oh, wow. Abby, you need a rope. Look, I've got... Don't... Not my rope, go get your own rope. There's a pile of rope there. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Rope. Has everyone got some rope? And everyone needs a stick as well, or something like it. Abby, come on. Hang on a sec. Let's see Abby trying to pick up some rope. <laughs> there we go. Abby's <laughs> totally covered in rope. You've got the end of my rope. Never mind. All right. So, what we're going to do is a little bit of revision on our rope work. So let me just fix this. Hopefully everyone can hear everything fine. Looks like it from the audio levels. All right, just turn them down a bit. All right. So, there's some people watching good. So we're going to do... Abby. <laughs> Abby. <laughs> don't pull, don't pull, don't pull. All right. So, we are going to do some reef knots. So if you remember a reef knot, it's a way of tying two ropes together that you want to stay together. It doesn't work well if the rope is shaking, but if you just want to hold it together, it works really well. And the way you do it is you hold your two ropes, the ends of the rope. It can be the same piece, it doesn't matter. You hold the two ends of the rope. And you just go one side over the other side. And I'm going to show you. It's just like starting off with like a granny knot or something. So we're going to go, I'm doing left over right. So I go over and then under. Just like I'm starting off my shoelaces or something. See? I'll do that again. So in this case, I'm going left, because I'm left-handed, over, right, and under. And I keep an eye on this. This is the part that I started with. This is the left part. So now over here. Now I come over to this side. Make give yourself a good a bit of tail. You want lots of rope. Over this side. And now it goes over this one. And under again. And now you can hold on to both of these ends and give it a pull. And you see that? That's a really tidy reef knot. Now, when this gets pulled on like this, you see it gets a little bit tighter, and that'll hold up really well as long as it's being pulled on. But if you shake it around, eventually what's going to happen is it'll fall apart. That's okay. That's all right. If you're just doing a bunch of tying your stuff together, then it makes it really easy. Abby, have you got two bits of rope yet? There's a bit of rope right there. Little one. Come and sit here. And you can join in. And you can type. If there's any of you out there watching, then you can type hello and chat. Or if your parents are watching, then you should. Abby, you've, you've got a piece right there. No? You're fine. You can take a photo of you guys watching and put it on the Facebook. So Abby, what, you got one end. Abby's got one end. And the other end. So these are a bit all tied up, but that's fine. Just make them really long and you can do the same. So you hold along and you copy along. All right? We'll make sure you're in the picture as well. All right, all right, cool. So we'll do that again. Take your take your rope in front of you. Yeah, give it a nice long bit. Yeah, go left over right and under. Yeah, you got it. Hold it up so everyone can see. Now you got it. Now take this part that's now on this side, it's now on the right, and go over that one and under. And when you pull it through. Now pull it. Eh. Hooray! You did I it. Can tie Tom. Hey, Tom, you're listening. <laughs> Hi, Cohen. Nice to see you. Hi, Louisa. Is it all running? Hopefully, I'll just check everything. It looks like everything's running. Hi, Cohen. I'll just, just do this for a sec. 
Uh, are we all running fine? Can you hear okay? There's a bit of a, a little bit of a delay on what I stream and what I see. So there you go, look. Hold up your rope, baby. Is it working well? Well, hold up this part. Oh, Dad, on this thing, it's not saying what we're showing what we're doing right now. Oh, I know. It's delayed. It's very exciting. There you go. Hi, Thomas says, come. Thomas is hiding because he doesn't want to be on the camera. He's chicken and he doesn't have his scarf on. Yeah. So he can't join no, cup me. No, I can't be bothered to put my scarf on. Shoot. Shoot. I know. So we've got now this really cool reef knot. All right. Which is a really handy knot for tying lots of things together. There's another way you can do it. You can't hear or see anything. Just the chat. Oh, is that everyone? Abby, don't kick the microphone. It's streaming in the lounge with Alfie. Oh, okay, good. So... If you keep the microphone, it's going to dong and everyone's going to hear it grumpy. There's another way you can tie this, which is a bit different. So you take a loop, just like that, see, loop of rope, very simple. And then you play the old rabbit hole job. So you go up, around the back, Daddy, underneath, and back down. Oh, you can't see me. Ah, oh, here we go, show it again. So I'm holding this rope together. So it's just a different way of doing it. Sometimes if you're holding, if you've got a loop of rope or a rope has a loop in it, you can do this. It goes up, around the back, and then back in the hole. And I'll do this a couple of times so you can see it. And then, ta-da, like that, ta-da. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, Abby, try again. So, hold your loop, and you go up. Underneath and around, and I'm holding it, and then, and then, back into the hole. Oh, so like that. Oh. Let's have a look. Abby, hold up yours. So hold up yours. Yeah. There we go. You want to try, Tom? Up. Oh. So you need lots of tail on this one. No, no, that's down. Uh. <laughs> up. You can go. It doesn't matter which way around you go. As long as no, no, around. Yeah. yeah. Give it a lots of tail, lots of tail, so, yeah. Um, and then back down the hole. <laughs> That's right, give it a pull. I'll try doing one vertically so you can see it again. Yep, certainly well, Luke and family. So we have our rope. I'm giving it lots of tail there. Okay. I'll even hold it like that. Go up through the hole. Then go around the back, and then oh, I like you watching. down the hallway. Hey Angus, awesome! Glad it's going through the TV well. So that works really Please well. Boop, 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 boop. Like and now, see the problem with these knots. Problem with the reef knot is it does kind of fall apart if you shake it. Rawr. So we'll do it the old-fashioned way again because it's just as easy. So we're going left over right, under, just like you're tying your shoelaces. And then it could be right over left, I don't mind which way. But just remember, whichever side you choose, that's the one that's following. So this is my in charge side. So it's going left over right, and then under, and then it's going, this is in charge. Now it's going to go over the other one, and back through. So it now, really boom. Dead. It is really delayed, that's how streaming is. What is Thomas doing? Watching. Nothing. Watching. <laughs> so that is the exciting reef knot. I go in. Okay. So we do cover that in cubs again. We're going to do a different knot now. Can you pass me a stick, Abigail? So some of you, you can grab a stick too. One stick that I stole from the cub hall. So the other one we're going to do, we're going to be doing a... Abby, sit down so I can put it on your head. There we go. Well, it can be. Thomas can hold on to that. Yay. So, it's often helpful to tie a rope around a stick. But it's if you do just like a rope, a knot like this, it's it's gonna like just come off, right? Tom, go stand over there. Okay. No, I want to stand here. Oh, well, you want me to shuffle over? You can. Okay, go sit. No, I want you to be useful. No. All right. I'll be useful. I can hold things if you want me to. Go over there and hold things for me. Yep, sit up please, Abs. Come over a little bit. Stand up. But what do you want me to hold? 
I want you, Abby to sit in the middle, and I want you oh, yeah. to sit here, and I want you to hold on to the stick. Oh, I have a stick now. We're going to do a clove hitch, which is a uh, another way of doing a rope around a stick. Hold the stick up. Oh. Okay. So a clove hitch is a way of making a nice tight rope on a stick or something else, like a pole. Oh, if you have, or a you. If we have a wooden stick, like a spoon or something, then you can just use a spoon. So what I'm going to do is go, I take my rope, go over and round. Okay, so it's just gone round. And then I cross over the original. So I'm crossing over like this, crossing over just like that, coming back. And then I tuck under that one that I came, that came over. And when you pull that tight, you'll be surprised, but that will be really snug and it's going to stay there for ages. Now you can look up clove hitches on YouTube Ooh. yourself and practice, Ooh, but we are going to do it again. So you get to see it again. Ah, that's quite nice and snug. It's really good if you're tying, try, trying to tie sticks together. Okay, Tom, hold it up. Oh, okay. Put it on my shoulder. Okay. Put it on children. Hold it up. Hold it, hold it, hold it up. Hold it up like that. So everyone can see. Hold it up in front of you like that. There we go. Okay, can you see? Stay like that. Hold it still. Abby, both hands. Thank you. Give me some space to tie rope. So, going over. Give it a pull. Over, over, over. Then it's going to cross. You see? It's crossing. And then when it comes back up, we tuck it under. Oh, I'm trying to get my hands out of the way. Hold it. And and then we snug it tight together. We push the ropes together and give it a pull. And that will be a good tight clove hitch. So you can do that on any pole or on any wooden um, thing. So mm -hmm. that is quite a useful thing to do. So clove hitches, yay, they're good fun. Do you want to have a go, Abs? Ah, I don't think I can listen, but okay. You don't think you're listening, but okay. Here, use. Ooh, go. Okay. So, I'm going to do it from my side. Over. Over. Tom, can you hold it first? Oh, no, okay. Uh, okay, hang on, Abs. Hang on, hang on. Can I show the rope? There you go. Yeah. Yay! So, I'm going to do it again. Over. I'm a good boy. Crossing. And then... That's it. Over, crossing, back through. It needs to go on the other side. So it's a bit hard to see. Like that. We have eight people watching. Right. Thank you. Bum, bum. The other thing where you can do it is you can make a loop. And then you can make another loop. Deb, what's and that's a little bit of a confusing way of doing it, so we're not going to do that too much. That's hi not Luke. right. If you're there, hi Luke. All right, so okay, hold up. What's latency? Latency is delay. Oh. So it goes over Abby. Hello. And then, as it's over this way, back over the one we came through, and then, and then it comes underneath. And into that one. Ta da! Okay, you try again. Really clear. That's good. I'm glad. So, trying again. Okay. Tom, hold up. Are you all tangled up, Abby? Yeah. So, we'll do it again. Going over. Tom, uh, hold it. Where's my shirt? Um. I can be bothered to put it on, so I just put my scarf. Tom, hold it. So okay, we're going I'm over. It. We cross the original line. <gasps> Angus, right. hey you. And then we don't come up the same way. We come up back on the inside of that rope and yeah, I did it wrong. boom. Has everyone had a go? Had a try with something? Angus is just like, hey you. Well, then what is? Yes, it will shake out if you give it a big shake, but. If you just hold on it, it should be okay. All right, Abs, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah. you're sort of getting there. Oh, so he hold it up, to. Tom. Angus Tom, I, yeah, I know. hold it up. I think I know. And now, 
No, hang on. Do, 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 do. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You think it's my job, Angus. Yeah. Well, Thomas. I held it up. Shush. Okay, so. Over. Yeah. There. And now it needs to come underneath and back through there. Right, try again. This is a tricky, it can be a tricky one because you've got to remember to go over things. Alright, uh, under things. So I'll do it again from this side so you guys can all see. So, hold it. Uh, where am I going to tie it? Your face is in the way. Yes, my face. <laughs> no, okay, hold it. So, we're going over. Okay. Crossing. And then we don't tie it up this way. We actually have to tie it back where we came from. Up that way. So just again. Over. And then back in that big gap that we've left. Right up there. Boop. Ta-da. Why don't you do it on my arm? It's basically... I don't want to cut your arm off by ropes. Don't do it too tight then. No, that's all right. So we're going to now... For the last bit, we're going to do some lashing of a couple of different poles together. So, Tom, can you grab another pole, please? Another pole. Mm -hmm. Pole! Flat two poles. So, when you're yeah, tying two one. poles together like this, let's sit back a little bit so we can see. When you're tying two poles together, if you just, if you lash them together, when you spread them apart to make like a teepee or something, the knot will get really tight if you Talking do this Jack. lashing tight. Or you can just tie them across which I know many of you have done in, in cubs and that way you can make like uh, shapes or you can start to make like a frame or you can make a stretcher which is a fun thing we've done sometimes you can tie them oh, together yeah, that like was this. Fun. Um, so what we're going to do is show you the start so it's on to that Tom so the start is to do that knot that we just did and that's a good way to place to start so I'm just going to tie it around this part of the rope if you can't figure out how to do this then either look later on look for a clove hitch again on the internet yourself or just tie whatever knot works. Once you've got this knot nice and snug, we can put the other rope, the other log, across. Tom, let's pop it there. Hang on, I need to get it on that side. So, now we're holding this stick like this. And I'm going to turn it around so everyone can see. Okay, hold that there, guys. Tom, hold okay. it there. So this we're doing is what's called a square lashing. And it is, it allows us, uh, with this way too much rope, oh my gosh. Just silly amounts of rope. I think maybe we should find a different rope. This is a little bit... Okay. If you're watching, type something in the chat. If you can. If you <laughs> Let's can. switch to this much shorter rope. Okay. <laughs> it stretches hurt Cohen's back. Uh, all right. Let's take this one off. So let's say we got a clove hitch. We're going to start the clove hitch over here. Keep being a useful stick, Abigail. You're a very useful stick. You can tie this soon because I am a all right, stick. All right. So we've got our clove hitch here. Mm. Now what we have is this length of rope, right? So we've got this length of rope. Oh, stretches hurt my back. <laughs> And now we can, uh, actually I'm going to put this log underneath. Yes. Now what we can do is go around our log with a, what's called a square lashing. So we go over, under, over. Excuse me, Abby. I know, we'll I know, Luke. I know you're watching. We have a little bit of this, give a bit of space. And then we go, hi, hello, good family, Everyone hello. else, if you can type something in the chat right now. Alright, so we go keep going over, under, and then under, yeah, 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 and then up over here, God, I'm and then over here, right, it's. Uh -huh. And what happens is every time as you do this, you want to be pulling on it. Now, if you were, if I was on the ground with this, I'd be standing on it with one foot and pulling on it with the other. And if I want to make sure it stays tight, I can press on it with my thumb. While I use the rest of the rope. So now the rest of the rope goes over, under, over, under. Oh, and I can use my thumb to hold it down while I move this part. Did you turn it? Over, under. Oh, so I'm not Concentrate. <laughs> 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 I'm not 
And then we keep going. We don't need to do it forever and ever and ever. We just need to do it a, a bunch of a few times, right? Three or four times. Now that's looking pretty good. Now what you can do <laughs> is you can cinch it tight. Cause cinching is when it make it you kind of squeeze it tight. So in this case, <laughs> stop out of the way. What I'm going to do is just go across it, and then we go around the middle a couple of times. Okay, we go around the middle a couple of times. Oh jeez, this is long. We go, see, we go around, and we go across here, and we just go around and around. Now after you've done that a couple of times and really hold on it, Ow. it'll be really tight. And then we finish it off with a clove hitch. So we go over, like this, cross that one, and we then have back to be here. Yay. That'll probably do. We'll just finish it off quickly like that. Alright, so now, ah, give that a pull. And that is pretty okay, tight. Does it have to be a wide? That That's a pretty say. tight bit of lashing. <laughs> Cohen, you can just say anything. What do you think? Well, he just did. Say anything, Cohen. Hi. Hi. Hold on. I am the Now you can prop I'm Abby. Hi, Ryan Cohen. So if, you had it, <coughs> if, you were holding, if you were holding this up, like, you know, you make a flagpole with it, or you make a teepee with it. We've done that in cups. We've made, like, got two or three of these. And if you tie three together, you can get a big old uh, teepee together, which is pretty fun. A new person. Can it be old, or can it be a new teepee? New person. Type in the chat so we can see who you are. Okay. And you can look on the internet. So I'm just going to flick over and show you, like, heaps of videos and pictures. So I'm just going to flick to this one. So you can see here, Hello, there's Cohen. a picture Hola, of Cohen. a... Reef knot, and this is showing you kind of how to tie it up. So you can look up reef knot, clove hitches, and uh, square lashings and try them out. It's kind of a fun thing to do. See if you can build yourself like a cool fort in your garage or find some sticks or poles, and you can send it, um, yeah, you can send it, send a picture to Facebook to the, to the Kandala Scout group. That'd be cool. And the other thing, oh, so that's going to be uh, what we've done this week. I hope you all had a go. I hope you'll have some right. Luke, learn how to type. And what else we'll be doing is next week we're gonna do some uh, bug hunting. So yeah. This week, what I want you guys to do, if you can, is to get a plastic container or a plastic bag. Abby's got some she caught already, and catch some bugs. I know they're alive. We'll bring them over. They're probably not because you sealed them in a plastic bag without well, any food. I put I put so Abby has a bag with some little green leaf bugs. Leaf bugs in there. There's actually a leaf bug in there. We have a and leaf. There's some, no, there's like four. There's some dead ones too at the bottom. They're a bit hard to see. <laughs> so I, I want you guys to find as many different bugs Luke. as you can. Luke, I'm Tom? looking at you. I want I'm you to find. Shh. I want you to find as many different bugs as you can. And you should have them on you in some fashion, like in a, um, you should have them in a box or in a plastic bag and bring them to next week and we'll go through what bugs we found and you can tell us if you got the same bugs and I'll show you some websites where you can find out what bugs you've caught in your garden. So what have we seen? We've seen, we found a, sp a jumping spider the other day, we looked it Hi. up. We got leaf bugs and we have the uh, monarch butterfly caterpillars. Except they'll get eaten by birds. Yeah. You're so welcome, sad. Cohen. Yeah. So next week, bring some leaf bugs to, or whatever bugs you can find, as many as you can, different varieties. Bugs, <laughs> bugs. are scary. No, yeah, no. bugs aren't scary, Luke. No jumping. You're spiders. much bigger than any bug. I'm pretty who's sure. Who's the new person who started watching? We have eleven now. Type in the chat, new person. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you that you guys are bigger than bugs and they're going to be way more scared of you because you might suffocate them in a plastic bag, eh, Abby? I want to know who you are, <laughs> new person. Oh, no, the new person left. <laughs> That's probably no. all for now. So I will say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. And hope bye -bye. you guys keep busy and get your sensor messages on Facebook Must or something. Say hello. I want the stick. You want the stick. I want the stick. You want the stick. I want all the right. stick. It's plastic. Oh. Can we send photos of what we find? That's a great idea. Yes, please put some photos. You can either mail it to me or you can um, send them on Facebook to the 
Facebook group. I think anyone can put a post in. It might take a little minutes to come up. Uh, okay. But I'll start, a, I'll start a comment on it and we'll figure that out. Bugs aren't gross to you. Ha! <laughs> Look at you. We are looking at you and found a wild Luke roaming in the plains. No one wants a wild Luke. Put Colin, it back. Bugs aren't you. <laughs> we are looking. And Luke, while you are, and also send me a video of you spazzing while you're looking at Oh, you probably, mean, you probably mean look at the camera because we're also looking at the screen where we have our, oh, we have our monitoring thing that makes so sense. I can see what's Hello. going on. So if I put that up there, then it might be a bit easier. But, yeah. Yes. So anyway, everyone, we will catch you all later. Um, we'll try and look at the camera again next time. Hi. We'll see you the same time next week, hopefully. Bring all your bugs, put them on Facebook. Um, we'll compare notes. Bye. I have a stick. Bye. I have a stick. Bye. I have a stick. I will kill you with Bye. my stick. <laughs>